Hey, it's Doc and I'm back. And today I kind of want us all to march to the beat of a different drum. And the message is really about the appropriate ways to respond. Because as a former teacher, principal, district leader, and now as assistant superintendent, I've always found that it wasn't a student's inappropriate behavior that got them in trouble. It's how they responded when their behavior was being addressed that got them in trouble. Using the appropriate ways to respond can be the difference between a referral and getting kicked out of class or things just de-escalating and you staying in class. I know you're gonna make the right choice. So listen carefully. This is my advice to all of our students out there, whether you're returning to learn virtually or whether you're going back to school, is this. Whenever an adult makes a reasonable request, you got four ways to respond. You should say, okay, and do what you were told. You can say yes and do what you were told. If you were raised to say yes sir or yes ma'am, that's always a great choice. And like my 28-year-old daughter, sometimes you may not need to say anything at all, but demonstrate the appropriate body language and do what you were asked to do in seven to 10 seconds. Because again, folks, it's not your inappropriate behavior that gets you in trouble, but it's how you respond when your behavior is being addressed that may get you sent to the principal's office. And I'll tell you right now, being respectful and responding to people appropriately is not punking out. It's not being less than a man. It's the right thing to do. So trust me, applying, modeling, and implementing, and even using the appropriate ways to respond will set you up for success. Remember, you're the architect of your future. So what are you building? Hey, this was a word from Doc. Peace.